Hello and welcome to Poland day, day two, kind of, but day three really in this video. We are going downstairs to be picked up from the lobby for our day trip that I was saying about yesterday. Um, that's really all the update I had. Yeah, it's not, not what's going on. We literally just got out of bed about 10 minutes ago. So that's fun. in Zakopane in the mountains very mountainy it literally looks like a Christmas card very scenic it? it's not it's like it's not real I'm convinced it's a like green screen behind us but it's not a promise it's actually legit I don't understand it's so nice couple hours and guys today you will try both of those cheeses the smoked version and also without this process of smoking We're at the Thermal Springs. No coat needed. We haven't got our coats because we thought that's just a fact to try and get them in the lockers. It's also not cold. Well, it is cold. It's not freezing right this second. It's actually, well, I think that's because we've just literally walking for like five minutes. Look at that over there, the, the mountains. Five seconds. Wow. Look at the mountains in the distance. It's so pretty. Yeah. We're in the Thermal Springs. <laughs> it's really weird because we're just sat next to snow but you're hot. I know, turn the snow around so I can see it. Have you ever shown other people though? No, of course. And then there's a, there's a bar opposite us. Yeah, you can't see it because there's too much steam but we've got drinks behind us. Sam's got a... I've got a beer. Beer and I've got... I've got a special Spice on coat. coat. There's this thing over there and you go in it and it takes you round in a circle and you literally can't like stop yourself. It's <laughs> there's so my mum and dad now. <laughs> Flying round in it. Oh dear. There's loads of different rooms. We need to go see what's in the other rooms as well. Yeah, but there's... it's a very like surreal moment being like outside in the cold but being like so hot in the swimming pool. It doesn't really make any sense. It's not very nice when you get out. I just went to go and get my phone and it's bloody freezing. So good luck. Um, but yeah, no, it's really cool. for dinner again to hard rock cafe again <laughs> yeah to the hard rock cafe because it's just like one of the easiest things to find for gluten free stuff so that is the plan Good. we have done our day trip that we got that we had booked today to go to Zakopane and to the thermal springs in 
Chukovska. I don't, I have no idea how to say it. Um, and that was really good. The tour guide was really nice, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a very nice man. What was his name? Adam, I think. And he was really funny. Well, he gives a letter, right? I don't know if I just made that up. I think it was Adam. Was it um, Alan? No, I think it was Adam or Alex rings bells. Um, he was really nice and yeah, it was a good day, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was good. I thought the... I mean, I slept for most of the day. <laughs> yeah, he slept from the bus on the way there for like an hour and a half and two hours on the way back. It wasn't that long on the way back. It was. The... What did you think of the actual thermal springs themselves? Yeah, they were good. I enjoyed being in a hot swimming pool outside, like taking in all the scenery. It's just very yeah, weird. it's really weird. snow and for it to be freezing cold, but then you're just sat there in the swimming pool boiling. Yeah, it is really weird. The floor's so slippery, so if I'm making this bobble up and down, it's because I'm walking like an absolute weirdo to not fall over. But yeah, no, they, they were good. It was, it was nice. You could get drinks in the thermal springs as well and just like carry them in the swimming pool with you, which was oh, yeah, really weird. Like, yeah. Like being on holiday in a hot country. Yeah, like a pool bar. a pool bar in a hot country, but it was a pool bar in a cold country. But you can just like take them inside this swimming area that's inside as well. It was really odd. Like obviously at home, they don't allow that around the pool area. But yeah, I'd definitely recommend it, would you? Yeah, 100%. Like it was so nice up in the mountains. You'll see, you would have seen all the clips by now, but um, up in the mountains on the cave. It's like, it wasn't actually a cable car. It was like a train thing on tracks. Oh yeah. Anyone can go on it, even I went on it. Yeah, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't fancy a cable car that hangs from the sky. But this one was fine. And the view from the mountain, I, honestly, I thought I was in a Christmas card. It looks like you're in a Christmas card or on a green screen. It doesn't look <laughs> real. It's like what you see in the photos that you just think, oh, that's nice. But when you're actually, like, to actually see it in real life, you just kind of think, well, that's not real. I think this will probably be the last clip of today's video. And tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? We've got crossing the road. Try not to get run over by a tram. Uh, tomorrow's just shopping and some scare room. Yeah, sh uh, tomorrow we'll wake up, go for breakfast. I think we're going to go to a different pancake house tomorrow. Then we're going to, it's like a haunted house thing. Haunted house called Lost Souls Alley. I saw it on TikTok, where I saw it on TikTok. It looks terrifying. Like you literally could get tasered and dragged into a room but you can select the level of intensity and we're not doing that because I would, I don't want to be physically hurt. Like they could actually physically hurt you. You could select an option for that, which I'm not doing. I'm not doing that either. I don't want to be hurt. But yeah, it looks absolutely terrifying. And then we're also going to go to this like Adventure. house of attraction. I think, is it called house of attraction? And it's got like different like mirror mazes. It's got a 70 70 cinema, 3D roller coaster, like loads of stuff in it. So. I will film that as well if I can. I assume there's certain bits I can't, like the actual cinema and stuff, but hopefully the mirror amazing things we can film. Yeah. So we will film what we can tomorrow as well. Hello Good and morning. welcome to Poland Day 3, well, kind of 4. 3, 4. 4. 4. 4. We are in, in a different pancake house today, mm -hmm. having breakfast. We're in the Jewish quarters of Krakow today. I think it's called Kazimierz. And this is place is called Pancake House, and they have they've actually got loads of different choices of pancakes in there. Yeah. They? And they do like normal. So the place we went the other day, they did they were all gluten free and dairy free, whereas they do normal here, and then you can have gluten free if you want. So that's a bit better for you. But yeah, this is where we are. It's very small, but nice. There might be more seats somewhere else. Actually, they seem to have like. Upstairs and upstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Downstairs, upstairs, in a little side room. So I got, there. it's just called Choco, which is Nutella, banana, and whipped cream on my pancake. And you've got... Pancake house, which is caramel sauce, caramelized popcorn. It does come with whipped cream, I didn't want whipped cream. And then some chocolate sauce as well. That'll be nice. And we've both got Coke. Classic. first adventure of the day it's actually just started snowing as well it hasn't it snowed the first day we got here but it hasn't snowed since so that's so cool you might not be able to see it it's only very light um, we're going to 
Lost Souls Alley, which is supposed to be the world's scariest haunted house. And there's like different levels that you can select. So we're going to be babies and do the least one, least worst, the best. I don't know. Right the best there. one. Let's just stand here. You can apparently get hurt and everything, but I'm not going to do that because that's terrifying. Also, the snow's getting heavier. I'm so excited. Yay! Oh, there we go. We have just finished at Lost Souls Alley. What was your thoughts? Um, we did we did green, so pink is the least scary, then green is the next one. So they include a tiny bit of physical yeah. contact. What did you think? Yeah, it was good. I mean, obviously, like they chase you around with, like chainsaws and stuff, um, but they're not like they don't hurt you. Like they might stick you with like a chainsaw. I mean, I did get strangled and oh, yeah, was that. unable to breathe. That was not very enjoyable. They like forced, they shoved pills in my mouth and tried to force me to swallow them. But bearing in mind they were like three big pills. I struggled to swallow a paracetamol, let alone three, with water that is, let alone three pills with nothing. So I was like, I can't do that. And they were like strangling me until I swallowed them. But eventually I got her to let me go. They're also very informative. Like I took a couple of wrong turns and the guy had a chainsaw would come up, put a chainsaw into me and go, mate, you need to get a corridor on the right mark, thank you. <laughs> or uh, like the woman who does the introduction will come along and help you if you're really stuck at one point. Because like the second room in, we were struggling badly to get someone out of a, like a jail cell. And she came in and gave us like, a helping hand. Um, well, she's, she's creepy. She wears a mask and then she comes in and then you don't say, you don't answer her and she just shouts at you. Yeah, it was quite nice. It was funny. It was scary. It was scary. I think, well, it wasn't more fear. I think it was like, we had to shut ourselves in fridges. Um, oh, yeah, that's and then we had to crawl through like a small tunnel. So if you don't, if you get claustrophobic, don't recommend because I, I don't massively, but I was starting to panic a little bit in that fridge. Yeah, that I mean, nice. I was in a stand-up fridge by myself and I couldn't get it closed. My knees were just like, dangling out. And then he, the guy who like whacked it and it banged on his head. Yeah, it's very funny. Good times. Um, but, but yeah, no, I would, I, recommend, I would it. recommend it, but I wouldn't do the scary one. I'd do green or pink. Well, they didn't even let us pick the scary one. No, true. I think they kind of have to like prove that you're willing to do it and that... Yeah, they literally, you have to sign waivers and everything. But it is scary when they chase you with a chainsaw and then they were cut chasing us with an axe at one point and like slamming it down on the floor behind me. And I was like, could you imagine if they accidentally caught my ankle? Yeah, and like when they do the chainsaw, like, like chasing you, like, it stinks of petrol. Yeah, it does. And they, where we were hiding, you weren't there because you'd gone the wrong way, but where we were hiding was like against a wall, but there's one like space and they shove the chain through, saw through there so it's like if you're stood in front of that space you're gonna get chainsawed because he can't see you from the other side but yeah it is good but scary yeah, would recommend done a bit of walking through the Christmas market as you'll see from the last clips and now we are going to the House of Attractions which is just around the corner um, and Sam's just getting up the list of what they've got in there. What does it include? It includes a mirror maze, infinity room, roller coaster in 3D, VR full immersion, 7D cinema, laser maze, a ribbon maze, museum of living butterflies, house upside down. So this this will probably be fun. <laughs> We've had the fear today. Now we're gonna have the fun. Today. Do you want to do the museum of butterflies and house upside down? Yeah. You do. Yeah. Okay. I really want to go in an upside down house. Never been in one before. Yeah, it's supposed to snow now for the rest of the day today and tomorrow and all night. So, so far flight doesn't get cancelled or delayed because we're going home tomorrow. And oh, when we got here, they said that they were cancelled.
<laughs> we have just been huh? to the Hard Rock Cafe for dinner oh. again. It's yeah. actually snowing and it's starting to set on the places that were clear. I don't even know if you can hear me because I'm like buried in my coat because it's freezing. It's actually cold, isn't it? It's very slippery. It's cold, I'm really slippy. Um, we're now heading to like this underground bar thing. 442 Sports Bar. 442 Sports Bar. Sports Bar to watch Football. the Chelsea game. But they show all Premier League games at the same time. So. Yeah, there's like loads of little underground rooms and they all show a different game. It's actually really cool. So yeah, we're heading there now. And then we actually met some people in there the other day when we went to watch it a few days ago, one of the other Chelsea games. Um, so we're actually meeting them there again this evening to watch the Chelsea game. Who are we playing? I don't know. Fucking <laughs> useless. And then, yeah. That's going to be pretty much the end of the video, to be honest. But I'll show you the little place when we go down, because it's it's really weird. It's, it reminds me of Green Gots on Harry Potter. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so I'll film that when we go down, but then that's basically going to be the end, because we are off home tomorrow, unless we get stranded here because of the snow. It's just me, but does anyone else get really excited when snow lands on the hair? Because we just don't ever get this. Um, it's so cool. This is the first time we've been here that Sam's actually got us lost. He's normally pretty good. It's like, We're not lost. I don't know, guys. Okay. Yeah, the snow's starting to settle on the ground again now, like on top of the existing snow, but also where the roads have been cleared, they're starting to become not clear, but it's not very heavy, so it could get worse. But I love that it's landing in my headband. It's so cool. videos thank you very much for watching ending we... it on a low <laughs> chelsea got beaten by united a few men we played that awful but you know it is what it is we have just been as you would have seen in the last clip to the blue truck which <laughs> the famous blue truck we, we were introduced by some people that we met um and they took us to the blue truck and bought us a sausage from the blue truck and it was really really nice had it with some honey mustard and like a fresh roll and it's so nice and it's snowing and i'm really sad that we're actually leaving because i want to stay in the snow <laughs> um it's so cool Ooh. i have never seen snow like this in my entire life i just nearly fell on camera it's so cool but yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you liked our videos and we will be back with some more very soon look at that people have slipped yeah literally be careful oh man oh <laughs> Thank you very much Thank you. For, watching. for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more. And I'll see you soon. Until the Bye. next one.